in the previous film, I threatened that I might wear my shorts. Well, I wish I'd put them on because the weather is absolutely scorching. Well, scorching as it can be when it's 11 degrees, but uh, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'll give the mountain nerds a second to work out where I am. <laughs> so that's Snowden. Uh, I'm on the Ranger path, um, which is one of the, if not the oldest path up Snowden. So I've parked down, if you Google map it, if you look on a map, you'll find a, a car park at the Ranger station, which is at the beginning of the route. Um, it's down, um, that mountain there I think is called Munas Moor. So there's a lake down there called Lynn Llewellyn. Um, Cowellyn. It starts down near the lake, the car park, and there's a zigzag path up, and then you come up this way. Ugarn is, uh, is over there, and you head into Snowdon. A um, bit of cloud on at the moment, um, but I'm not heading up Snowdon. Um, I'm heading up, <laughs> a bit less picturesque than Snowdon, up there, um, Moyle Kunghorian, have I got that right? Um, and the reason being, I go, you know, I've done quite a lot of films where I'm on other mountains looking at Snowdon. Uh, and the reason I'm doing it today is because the forecast is for this cloud to shift across um, and to be a nice sunset. So I'm hoping to be on top of Moyle Kunghorian um, at sunset, get some nice light on Snowdon. And the sun will be setting over in that direction so I'm on the kind of western side. I'll be looking at the western side of Snowdon. So hopefully get the late evening sun. And if, in fact, I don't mind if there's a bit of cloud on the top, it'd be quite picturesque. Um, but yeah, the reason I do lots of images from around Snowdon is it's, uh, I kind of think of Snowdon as, a, as an island. And if you sat on the island looking out, you can't really appreciate the beauty of the island. Whereas if you're on a mountain looking at Snowdon, you get the beauty of the mountain. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. If I was up on Snowdon and the sun setting, I'd probably get some nice views that way. Uh, and maybe some nice views the other way, but I wouldn't get any nice views of Snowdon. So up on uh, another mountain, looking into Snowdon. Uh, but it's really warm. <laughs> so I'm gonna carry on and I'll catch up with you soon. Well, I thought I'd show you this spot because it's um, where the paths diverge. So Ranger Path, sorry. When I spoke to you, I was down kind of the edge of that coombe. So I've come up, Ranger Path carries on now uh, and zigzags a bit uh, and then up uh, ultimately onto summit of Snowdon. But the path I'm taking up uh, Moyle Kunghorian is here. <laughs> So if it was misty or raining, you might miss it. But uh, this little bit of a, I guess it's a bit of a quarry, uh, marks it out. So I'll show you, just in case you want to come and do it yourself. And make sure you don't miss the turn. So this bit of a, might be a quarry. Well, I don't know if it's a natural feature. It doesn't look very natural, but that's where the path turns. And then it heads up to the summit up there. But. You can see behind me. <laughs> what a view. You might wonder why, why am I not taking any photos at the moment? Well, shooting right into the sun is always a challenge. Uh, and I'm more interested in getting to the top and looking back this way with the sun. So what I'll be doing when I'm up the top, I'll be looking that way at Snowdon. The sun will be on my right, shining on Snowdon. So that's the plan anyway. And then, I've got a confession to make, but I'm not going to make it until I get to the top. So stay tuned for the confession. It looks like a slog. I'll see you soon. I bet you can't wait. Well, not quite at the summit, but I, uh, I thought I'd stop and show you the view. So I've got to this um, style, which is a nice place to take my pack off, have a drink. And I might try and take a, a photograph with the style, but <laughs> How's your head for heights? <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna be ooh, very careful. How's that? <laughs> it's a long way down. It's not bad, is it? Um, In fact, when I, when I took my pack off and came and stood here, there was a buzzard just on one of these 
kind of outcrops and it took off and flew off down the valley so um pretty special so there's snowden um if you've ever been on the uh, railway line up Snowdon, or if you've walked up the Clambedis Pass, it comes up that way. Uh, and then uh, Clogwin Gok. So you can't actually see the summit Snowdon at the moment because it's because of the clouds, but I'm hoping they, they clear away a bit. But hopefully you can understand now why I said I wanted to come up here and look at Snowdon rather than be on Snowdon looking over here because uh, <laughs> it's not the most... It, it's got a kind of remote remote beauty to it but I guess the view of Snowden from here is better than the view of here from Snowden if that makes sense um, and then the confession so uh, particularly wanted to apologize to subscribers and long-term subscribers um, because lots of people comment on kind of how uh, kind of me getting up the hills kind of level of fitness and all that type of stuff and I I'm not particularly uh, any anything special I think I'm probably average mediocre fit but the confession i have to make is i've been using uh, an artificial stimulus for quite a long time and i hope you'll forgive me i really do hope you'll forgive me jelly snakes <laughs> i love them and can't get enough of them and they're what drive me on because i will reward myself when i get to the top in fact i'm going to do it and reward myself with a jelly snake or two when i get to the top so I apologise if you think this is all being done without the aid of kind of artificial um, interference. I apologise. Oh, actually, no, I don't apologise. No artificial colours, no artificial flavours. Completely natural. So nothing to be sorry for. <laughs> so anyway, um, I might try, <laughs> might try and take an image. If I can get something with the style in, um, might try and take an image. Um, but I'm hoping these clouds clear over as it gets closer to sunset and I'm heading up that way eventually. Um, but it's interesting, it was a slog, it was a slog, uh, I have to be honest, it was a slog coming up. So when I spoke to you, I was not much above the lake and it's just a slog coming up here. It's probably equivalent, I don't know what, maybe a 30 or 40 story building, just trudging up the stairs. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a bit hot and bothersome. But anyway, I might sneak a jelly snake now and get back over this fence and see if I can get a, a composition with this. Um, and if not, I'll speak to you when I'm at the top. Um, <laughs> welcome back. Um, so <laughs> uh, I'm at, I've been to the, to the summit, uh, which is just up there. So pointing with a jelly snake now. I'll leave a jelly snake on my camera. Um, not the most impressive summit in the world. Um, the uh, Moyle uh, Kung Horian is kind of a flattish top. Uh, if, if I'm probably going back over the summit, so I might show you later. So it's one of those, you, you've got this, from the western side, it looks like a kind of a bit of a boring kind of lump. And then from the eastern side, you've got this kind of sheer drop off. But anyway, uh, I'm going to, sorry, just got to tighten my thing a bit because it's wobbly. Sorry about that. Um, so I'm waiting now for something to happen on Snowden. I feel a bit sorry for all those people who have gone to the summit because I imagine they haven't been able to see anything all day because of the cloud. Um, but I'm just waiting for some light to happen. And I've got, I think, you know, be quite decent to uh, get an image with this kind of cliff edge. Um, and it, how do I explain? explain it um you've got this cliff edge that leads up um and if you can see the point in fact there's just a sheep <laughs> coming over the, the the ridge see the point where the the sun is illuminating kind of leads up and then leads up round snowden so there's kind of a banana um curve that's the plan anyway and when the sun comes out well it's back behind cloud at the moment hoping for a bit of light on here and a bit of light on kind of the western flank and, and get some images. Uh, it'd be nice if the cloud moves. I'm not sure it's going to. The weather forecast said zero cloud from about five o'clock onwards. Um, and it's now 25 past five, so no. Nope. Um, but while I'm waiting for that to happen, I'm looking across this way uh, and I'm looking at uh, Elodie Avaur, 
Uh, I did a video a month or so, month, six weeks ago, maybe two months ago, on Elodie Avaur, which is in the clouds over there. Um, but I'm working on a composition. Uh, brighten this so you can see. Working on a composition that has kind of some lines. So there's this uh, kind of the Lamberis, uh path comes up this side of, of Snowdon. And then hopefully the sun is, is shining on Elodie Avaur over here. It's cloudy at the moment, but I don't mind that too much. Uh, and I'm going for a composition that kind of um, leads from left to right. And I'm thinking that might end up as a... Um, a kind of three by one crop, something like that, a, a panoramic crop. Uh, I've zoomed in um, a bit, but uh, at the moment it's a bit bright, so I'm going to take that image. And it might be a nice combination of cloud, shade, sunshine, um, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, it's one of those. What I'm really waiting for is the kind of main event is the sun shining, shining here. Um, so just Clouds seem to be moving, so I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. Um, and I, if the sun shines, I'm going to try some compositions here, and then move a bit higher up. Um, but I quite like I, I I looked from up on the top, uh, and it wasn't as good as composition from down here. So, but let's hope the sun shines. It's looking quite nice now. Let's wait. So the cloud has cleared off the top of Elodie of Aur, <clears throat> which is a good sign, hopefully, <laughs> that all of this cloud is eventually going to lift. So you can see there's some sun, some sun shining, um, but I'd like it illuminating uh, higher up the peak of, of Snowdon. Um, so it's, it's a waiting game, but I'm looking. If, if you can see behind me, um, there's some blue sky, so uh, it seems to be coming in this direction. So I'm hoping <laughs> that that means the sun is going to lift. But I'm just, I'm, I'm doing, what I've just done is, um, what to kill time, a bit of an experiment. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, look at that, you can't see a thing. Um, so there's the composition. But I'm deliberately underexposing massively just to get some of the sun um now i don't know <laughs> i don't know what that'll turn out like it might be complete garbage um but uh you never know it might it might be something a bit arty a bit interesting uh just picking out the the sun and maybe kind of giving a hint of the mountain rather than actual the actual mountain um but it, it, to be honest it's just to, to kill a bit of time um I'm just wondering whether to go a bit further down. Um, <clears throat> stick or bust, stick or bust, stick or twist, I should say, stick or twist. I think I'll stick, <laughs> still on the mountain. Uh, so it's about an hour and a half since I last spoke to you. Um, and not much has happened other than I've come. Uh, so previously I was uh, just over the kind of eastern side of the summit and I've come along kind of the western side. Um, still quite a lot of cloud on top of Snowdon, um, but some sun, it's about an, about an hour, hour and a half uh, till sunset. So I'm waiting, there's, there's a kind of a, a, a blanket of cloud there, but no cloud on the horizon. So I'm hoping when the sun drops down um, between the horizon and the cloud, we get a, a beam of light. Um, <clears throat> It's blue sky behind Snowden, but there's not much wind, so the clouds not moving very quickly. So there's quite, you know, there's, there's, there's nice light um, at the moment, but I'm hoping for stronger light. Um, but it's, from here, you can see the route, more or less, that I came up. So I was down, you can see the lake. Uh, so I was parked down there and uh, kind of came up the valley here. And then that's the slog. <laughs> I could say a slog, I was, I was stood waiting for something to happen. And I saw a guy, come down the side of Snowden and then run up and he, he ran up and I had a quick chat with him and I said it's a bit of a slog isn't it isn't it and he said yeah oof, quite tough and then he carried on like a kind of rabbit or something so I'm sure he's, he's probably eating lots and lots of jelly snakes 
So, I think we're going to get some sun on Snowdon. So, I'll show you the composition before that uh, that happens. So, I've got this lake. I, I think it's a, a, a reservoir, um, uh, which is kind of shaped a bit like a kidney. Uh, um, although, I hope your kidneys aren't shaped like that. Um, so, going with the, the lake down in uh, kind of on the rule of third. I've got the... Um, uh, the, kind of the, the, the ranger's path runs up here, uh, so that's in the other rule of thirds. But what I might do um, is do a panorama, just so I might take one like that, when we get the sun, one like that, and then one like that, just to give me a, a kind of the full view of Snowden. Well, that's the plan anyway, but we'll wait for the sun. <laughs> so I'm back. To this spot <laughs> so the place i was just at um challenge um that started to happen was the sun was getting lower as it tends to do and the shadow was rising up the valley so about a third of my image was becoming just shadow uh, and i didn't like the composition so i've come back to this spot because of this <laughs> not bad is it um still can't see the summit but look at that, oh, I don't know, creamy golden light that's shining now on Snowdon. Just beautiful golden, golden light. And look at the clouds, beautiful. It'd be nice to see the peak, um, but actually I'm not that unhappy because of the, uh, uh, the, the colour in the clouds. If they, were, if they were just great, it'd be a bit miserable. So <laughs> come back here and I'm going, I'm, shadow is an issue. Shadow is going to be an issue. Um, but there's the composition um, with Snowden and I'm underexposing quite a bit. So I'm going to take one exposed on the mountain and then one exposed in the shadow so I can hopefully draw something out of those shadows. Um, but I'll go back. I might also try zooming in onto the peak, so I'll, I'll bear with me. So go like this. Sorry, I'll have to refocus. Sorry, I should I have to refocus because I've zoomed in. So get the focus on there. So I switch to manual focus now. So <laughs> try and get that a bit straighter. So we're going to take underexposed. One there, and then just spin one there, spin one more time, one there. So what I might have then is uh, kind of a panorama of just the summit of, well, the, <laughs> the clouds covering the summit of Snowdon, but it cuts out the shadow. Hopefully that makes sense. <clears throat> but what time is it? <laughs> it's 10 to 8, so not long until sun is down. Uh, so I've been here, what time did I arrive at the car park? I think about just after two. <laughs> so six hours, maybe an hour and a half to get up here. So <laughs> quite a bit of time here waiting for something to happen. Um, but just looking over the <clears throat> lovely clouds in, in, uh, in and around the peaks and just sitting in some of the troughs and a raven calling. And quite picturesque looking that way as well. Quite lucky, I should say. So, all done. And uh, <laughs> I was going to say Snowden in shadow. But I can now, sod's law, I can now see the peak of Snowden. <laughs> Been waiting all day for that. And now I can see it. But too late. Look, sun's down. So, hope you enjoyed the, uh, the trip uh, up Moyle von Kungforian. Moyle Kung Forian. Hopefully I get that uh, right. I know a couple of people will let me know. I've got to try my best. Um, and hopefully you got the gist about uh, why I was here rather than on Snowden. Um, and uh, getting the views that I got. Look at that. It's just stunning. Just a stunning, stunning scene. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed the trip and uh, picked up some tips 
and uh, even if it's just tips about locations i uh, hope you enjoy it um, so i've got to work my way down that's a fairly straightforward uh, walk down i might need my head torch before i get to the end but that's not a problem and uh, just a request actually uh, so i've got a trip in a couple of months up to near Ullapool in uh, kind of the north, far northwest of Scotland. I've only been there once or twice, uh, quite a while ago. So if you know the area uh, and you can suggest any locations, I've got a few locations of, well, I say a few, I've already got about a dozen or so um, kind of logged. But uh, if you know the area and you can recommend any locations for me, appreciate it. Anywhere up near Ullapool, along the coast, uh, around that neck of the woods, be grateful. So, <laughs> does make me laugh. The summit is kind of as plain as day now. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Plenty more mountains to explore. Where will I be next time? Bye. Mm -hmm.